with coverage you can count on. This is KTAB News at 10. Good evening and uh, thank you for choosing KTAB News tonight. And we want to play a, a little bit of uh, an audio that we recorded earlier and we want you to see that. I thought that when the police made an arrest that that would give us some sort of peace and comfort, but it doesn't. Multiple arrests made in an Abilene murder case, how those closest to the victim are honoring his memory. That is tonight's top story. And as we learn more about a murder in Abilene last weekend, we are also learning more about the man who was killed from the guardian who took care of Chance Bonnie when he moved to this country. 24 hours ago, this was breaking news. We showed you the suspects in an earlier excuse me, a shooting early Saturday morning as they were led from the police station to be taken to jail. The three adults and one juvenile were questioned by Abilene detectives and then jailed. Pellets from a shotgun hit Chance Bonnie in the chest. The shooting happened a little after 12 Saturday morning at the Stonegate Apartments in the 5100 block of Fairmont Street, west of the Winters Freeway. Those suspects are 21-year-old Chastity Pimpton, 17-year-old Xavier Applin, and 17-year-old Jonathan Williams. All are booked in the Taylor County Jail and charged with murder. Their bond is set at $150,000 each. The fourth suspect is a juvenile, so no information is being released. Chief Stan Stanridge spoke about this phase of the investigation. Yesterday, we met with family and friends of Chance, and it gave me comfort to call Mr. Bonnie last night and tell, them, tell him that arrest had been made related to his son's murder. Although the what happened has been answered. Chief Stanridge says the motive may have been robbery or drugs, but that is still not definite. So that's what happened mm -hmm. on Saturday. Tonight, we hear from the victim's guardian who took him in when he needed it most. Now she is searching for answers. KTAB's Claire Kreitz has her story. 3 a.m. Saturday morning, Carrie Turbush answered a phone call to news no mother ever wants to hear. Chance was at the party and he was shot and he's, he's dead. At age 16, Turbush says she and her husband at the time took Chance Bonnie in. He fit, you know, he just, he was ours. He was, I always say this, as like, he chose us to be his family. And we didn't know we needed them, but we did. With their three biological children, this family of five turned to six. He made us better. He made, he made me a better mom. He made my ex-husband a better dad. He made my kids, you know, better to each other. Uh, I mean, he changed our lives in so many great ways. He was, you know, he was a blessing in our home to our family. He was, it's like that missing piece. You didn't even know you were missing till he was there. But now that six piece, they didn't know they needed is a void that can never be filled again. It was really hard um, to realize this was real. This was really happening. Now, days after the shooting, Turbush and her family are still trying to make sense of what happened. You couldn't imagine anybody wanting to hurt him. It seems like maybe he was just wrong place, wrong time, and I just, it's just, it's hard. And she says, while the arrests have been made. I thought that when the police made an arrest that that would give us some sort of peace and comfort, but it doesn't, it doesn't help. The search for closure is still ongoing. He was a kid and their kids and I just, yeah, it just doesn't, I don't understand and it doesn't make sense. I don't want to know why and what answers, but then it doesn't help. It won't bring him back. It won't make it uh, any different. In Abilene with coverage, you can count on Claire Kreitz, KTAB News. An emotional story. Thank you, Claire. This case is still developing, and we will keep you updated as we learn more on KTAB and online at our website, BigCountryHomePage.com. A child sex crime suspect is out of jail tonight. 25-year-old Benjamin Roberts posted bond today after a judge reduced his bond from $350,000 to $100,000. He is the former Abilene Church daycare worker accused of sexually assaulting several children. This is Roberts walking out of the Taylor County Detention Center earlier tonight. His parents were able to post that 10% of the $100,000.
that is needed to be released, telling the judge they would use their life savings to post that bond. He will be living with his parents in College Station. Roberts was employed at the Wiley Baptist Church Early Childhood Development Center when he was initially arrested for indecency with a child and possession of child pornography. He was terminated once he was formally charged. At least eight children have come forward to accuse Roberts of abuse. Sticking with crime, a hearing in a Comanche courtroom has ended, but there is no decision yet. 77-year-old Joe Bryan was convicted of killing his wife in 1985 and has served more than 30 years in the Texas prison system. This week, evidence has been presented in court which may call into question whether Bryan is actually guilty. Witnesses have questioned the way the original forensics evidence was analyzed, and testimony was heard about another possible suspect, a police officer who they say was stalking them. After hearing the testimony, Judge Doug Shaver will now decide if Joe Bryan should get another trial. Turning now to education news, the Eastland Independent School District reported a staff infection after just a little less than a week since students returned to school. No specific campus was named, but a press release from the school says the staff infection affected the boys' athletic program. Staph infections are bacterial infections caused by direct contact. Symptoms include swelling, redness, and pain. Key ways to prevent staff are to bathe regularly, clean all athletic equipment, and avoid sharing clothes and personal hygiene products. The school says it is disinfecting the affected areas and will provide further information to parents as necessary. Youngsters in Abilene are already in bed, worn out after that first day of school or they're still awake because they are excited about classes back in session. Hard to say which category Mike Newton falls in. Today was his 43rd first day of school. After moving up the ranks, Newton is now principal at Dias Elementary School. Newton has been at all grade levels, K through 12 in Abilene ISD. He says coming from a military family, Dias Elementary is special to him. Being a a person who grew up in the military with his dad. I understand the, the needs and the, the sacrifices those children make moving from all over the world to, to Dias Elementary. Newton told us his 43rd first day of school began just like the others, greeting students as they arrive and wishing them well on their way to the classroom. He says he's looking forward to many more years as an educator and many more first days of school. This morning, students and their parents flooded into Abilene schools for their first day back. Students beginning their classes and meeting their new classmates. We were able to get an inside look at all of the excitement that took place today at Dias Elementary School. The school is a good school. Uh, they're real focused on helping him succeed and anything that they can do, you know, if I express my concerns, they're on top of it to take care of it for him. I'm ready to see what he learns this year and what new adventures he'll be able to go on. Um, he's ready and geared up for it. Great uh, um, class level or grade level team that I work with here at Dias and I'm very excited. Excited to have a new group of students and uh, they have lots of, uh, we have a lot of things that are in store for them. It's uh, going to be a great year, I believe. Wiley ISD will be starting Monday of next week and other big country school districts begin, or excuse me, between now and then. Still ahead on KTAB News at 10, severe weather brought rain and wind to the big country. Will those conditions continue? And Sam is here with that answer, Sam. Well, I'm not looking for any more activity tonight, or, or really tomorrow, but my goodness, we had some of those really powerful winds that come straight down. They're driven by upper level winds that are strong, and then they just hit and spread out with tremendous force, and we'll see the results of that in just a bit. First of all, let's look at our numbers. 98 degrees for a high temperature today. We only received officially about a half a spoonful of rain at Abilene Regional Airport. Some folks got significantly more, and we'll show you that too when we come back. With coverage you can count on, Bob Bartlett, Stacy Wormald, and Chief Meteorologist Sam Nichols. This is KTAB News at 10.